Hey there, my name is Christy Ashcraft from Christy's Lees, and I was doing some research in our area, Bucks County, Philadelphia, Montgomery. Came across you guys and thought I'd shoot a little video here uh, comparing your online presence to that of your competitors. See how well you guys are doing and generating organic traffic to get you guys some good leads for your business. So, if at the end of this video you can give me some feedback, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you like what you see and you're interested in learning more, reach out, give me a call, a text, an email. And if you're not interested, no harm, no foul, no problem. Um, so today I'm just going to go over three things that you can actually start to implement yourself to help you outrank your competitors. Citations, backlinks, and content. I'm actually going to start with content. So I have your webpage here. You have some incredible pictures. Um, <clears throat> they really captured one's eye. Uh, that's awesome. Content is basically the amount of words that are on your front page. So Google likes to see about 1500 words. So you guys are, are falling short in there. If you could add some words, some information, some keywords relevant to your niche that are unique, it would help Google crawl your website and then outrank your competitors. That's one thing. And content is actually the way you save your images as well. So these images, if they're saved as something like home remodeling or basement remodeling, Google picks up on that and it makes your website more relevant to what you want to be searched for. So you can add some content there again, about 1500 words. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I want to talk about are citations. So I just did a quick Google search for remodeling contractors in Bucks County. And just to go over the home page here, the front page of, of that search, you have your, your general ads, um, which people, businesses pay for. And uh, yeah, people will click on them. Some people won't. They just don't like ads. Um, other people use ad blockers these days because the number of ads has just become so excessive. Next, you have what's called the map pack, which is where citations come into play, which is why I want to touch upon it real quick. A citation is your business name, address, and phone number listed somewhere on the internet. It could be listed in online directories such as Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and such. These guys probably have a lot of citations. What we would do is go in, find the number of citations they have, use those citations, and then some more to outrank them. There's also a process you have to go through with Google to apply to be in the map pack, um, which I do recommend you look into because a lot of people click in here just to look for clicks if they're looking for construction workers and such. Um, it's a really easy click. Your website, it just brings attention. This, this square box here, you get a little more room on the front page as well. Um, also gives the location, which is nice. So citations are important in that way. We look to give more. So if your competitors have 500, we look to do 600. The next is just your companies that are ranking organically. Here you have your Yelps, your newspaper, a couple. Okay, so here are some that are ranking organically, so they're not paying for these ads. So I just brought up Lang's Kitchen here. I think I have them here. Yep, this is their web page. See how much content they have. They're still not really at 1,500, but they have a lot of content. Probably helps them rank organically, but they probably... <clears throat> may have a lot of backlinks. Um, a backlink is another website that links back to yours. So the more backlinks you have of good quality, uh, the better it is. So for instance, someone could be like doing a blog about remodeling. They mention your website and links back to yours. That's good. Google likes that. They'll rank you higher. So we use a program called AREFs and it allows us to look at the websites, get an insight into how many backlinks they are, what they are and such, and who's using what. So if you look at your website, um, BSM Remodeling, you guys look like you only have one backlink and one referring domain, and that's not really giving you a lot of traffic. You're missing a lot of traffic here. We have Lang's Kitchen, possibly one of your competitors. They have 239 referring domains and about 4,000 backlinks. Look at how much organic traffic they're getting. That's the number of visits they get to their website every single month, about 6,000. That's incredible. So, you know, we could certainly work to give you guys the number of referring domains and backlinks. We would go into here, go into Lang's Kitchen, Check on the referring domains, as you can see. Um, there's all sorts of do follow and no follows that we would look at. There's some domains that are better than others, but these are all the places where people are popping up with Lang's Kitchen, mentioning them, linking back to their website. And that's why they're ranking pretty high on the first page for such a broad category like remodeling contractors. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, <clears throat> you can use any of these tips that I mentioned today on your own. 
Again, if you could just give me some feedback, that would be wonderful. If you're interested in just learning a little bit more about how we particularly can help you guys, Christie's Leads, please shoot me an email, text, or call. And if not, no harm, no foul, no problem. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.